Well, good good afternoon, evening, everybody. This is Matt Kramer here, and I'm going to do a reading, brand new reading. I did the introduction to the New King James Version. I, I read the introductory preface on that. Um, well, I'm, I, I'm actually going to read from the old King James, the King James Version, the authorized version of 1611. And we're going to start with the first book of the Bible, first book of Moses, and that is Genesis. In the beginning, God created the heaven, heaven, notice that, heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. The Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. God said, let me note here, I don't, and why the translators did this, I don't know, but you should never start a sentence with and. All you English teachers over out there. God said, let there be light, and there was light. God saw the light, that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. The evening and the morning were the first day. God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let divide the waters from the waters. God made the firmament and divided the waters which were above, under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. God called the firmament heaven. Okay, so in verse 1, it says, In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. I believe it is talking about the same heaven. And this heaven is the blue uh, sky above us. That's the heaven. That's the first heaven. And the evening and the morning were the second day. God said, let the waters, the, yeah, the evening and the morning were the second day. God said, let the waters under the heaven be gathered together into one place and let the dry land appear. And it was so. God called the dry land earth and the gathering together of the waters he called he seas. And God saw that it was good. God said, let the earth bring forth grass the herb yielding seed and the fruit tree yielding fruit after its kind, whose seed was in itself upon the earth, and it was so. The earth brought forth grass and herb yielding seed after its kind, and tree and the tree yielding fruit whose seed was in itself after its kind, and God saw that it was good. The evening and the morning were the third day. Third day, that's a band, or used to be a band. Verse 14, God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs, seasons, days, and years. Let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light, firmament of heaven, not the heaven of heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, that's the sun, and the lesser light to rule the night, that's the moon. He made the stars also. God set them in the firmament of heaven to give light upon the earth, to rule over the day and over the night, and to divide the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the fourth day. God said, let the, uh, the evening and the morning were the fourth day. God said, let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that hath life and fowl or birds that may fly above the earth <clears throat> in the open firmament of heaven. God created great whales and every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind, 
and every winged fowl after its kind, and God saw that it was good. God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth, fill the waters in the seas, and let fowl multiply on the earth. The evening and morning were the first fifth day, excuse me, fifth day. God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creature after its kind, his kind, cattle and creeping thing and beasts of the earth after his kind. And it was so. God made the beasts of the earth after his kind. Small f, small h, his kind and cattle after their kind, and everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind. And God saw that it was good. God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness, and let him have dominion over the fish of the sea, the fowl of the air, over all the cattle, over all cattle, and over all the earth. And over every creepy thing that creepeth upon the earth. God created man in his image, and the image of God created created he him, male and female cre created he them. God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, the fowl of the air, over every living thing that moves moveth upon the earth. God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree in the in the which, in the which, that's old in King, old King James talk, in the which, in which is the fruit of a tree, you would seed, to you it shall be for meat or food, and to every beast of the earth, to every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air. To everything that creepeth upon the earth wherein there is life, I have given thee every green herb for meat or food, and it was so. God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. The evening and the morning were the sixth day. So that's chapter one of Genesis. I hope you enjoyed it. There will be many more readings over, over the next few days and months. In year, possibly a year, a year. Um, so please enjoy this reading. Uh, this is going to be a part of a new playlist called Sacred Sunday. I, I can't promise I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read a portion every Sunday. I can't promise that. But this will be an, a part of a new playlist called Sacred Sunday on YouTube. So hope you enjoy. Bye-bye.